You want to keep a close eye on the pre-release price, and you want to keep a close eye on your spread. Beta should be out in the next uh, six or eight seconds. So we got a buy here, and looks like uh, my opens around 47.15. I've adjusted my stop, but it looks like I may actually end up. Yep, I got stopped out at my stop on this trade. Market came back. So at this point, um, if you're still in it, just make sure you have adjusted your stop into the world's money. Uh, we have the potential to, to push up a little bit more. However, um, you do want to be cautious with this because it is a buy, and, and my, my overall bias is, as I said, a little more to the sell side. So again, make sure you have adjusted your stop to lock in some profit. Um, we're not getting a lot of movement, so at this point you should probably close out a, a portion of your trade at least, and we'll give it a little bit of time and see if we can get a push up. But uh, in any case, a couple of different things uh, to consider. First, you should have already locked in some profit. Second, we're not going to let it take anything from us, meaning we're not going to let it go beyond our open point. Um, so at this point, again, you should have closed out a portion of your trade just to make sure you lock in a little bit. And uh, it's actually already came back and, and stopped me out um, with a little bit of profit. It looks like about 10 pips, 10 pips of profit is what I ended up on this trade with. I, uh, my open was 47.16, and uh, looks like 47.26 is where it stopped me out. So for those of you who are holding a portion of this trade, we are beginning to get a little bit of a push up. Um, if you did get a, a bad uh, entry, which I'm not seeing anyone reporting a bad entry, but if you did get a bad entry, uh, my recommendation is to go ahead and clear out. Um, made one pip on two stations and 16 on another. Good. 15 pips. Good. 12 pips on uh, four lots. Good. F uh, 15 pips. Good. Break even at 14 pips on a futures demo. All right. Good. <laughs> 